All right, lads. So today, as you can see in the title of the video, we are playing Arena until we lose. So the second we lose is the second the video ends. And we are currently in a queue. Shout out to the lads Rashid and Extra for taking me up on this journey. To potentially see how long we can play Arena in one sitting uh, before we actually lose. And if you are playing with two guildmates or two friends that know what they're doing, it's very unlikely that you're going to lose. Because um, the game's just easy if you know what you're doing, right? Even if you are using worse characters, like you saw a shoot right there. Man's, man brought Lily Net. Lily Net, lads. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Alright, um, so I'm bringing Aizen. Uh, because obviously I want to rank up Aizen too. This is the perfect opportunity for me to rank up Aizen to rank 10. And then we have uh, Ekro to counter the Aizens. And I believe we are actually going against our Aizen. And then Rashut here just to be significantly tankier than any other character in the game. With that Lily Net. And it's kind of insane. Plus she gets the heals too. So if we ever do need to heal. Especially uh, Ekro's Ichigo. She can provide us with the heals. So kind of nice stuff, right? And uh, we'll see how it goes. If we lose here, lads, the game's, the video's done. <laughs> so we'll see how long it goes. Uh, I'm going to be editing nothing in this video, by the way. So anything that happens is going to be put in. So if I stutter, uh, which would normally get cut out, is going to get thrown into the video. Because, you know, it's, that, that's just the nature of the video. We are we are taking inspiration from fellow content creators on other gacha games like Nano and Nagato. I uh, thought it'd be fun to try and, like, put my twist on it and put it on BBS in Arena. Because Arena does exist, lads. I know people don't... <laughs> <laughs> be able to play arena, but it does exist. Uh, we got a nice cheeky spot here. It would be nice though if the game's actually lasted uh, just a short amount of time. Three minutes is, is a lengthy time to invest. And if you don't move for 10 seconds, it's, it's a kick. So, uh, I know some people suggested, maybe, especially because like, the first minute and a half is, is nothing. Essentially, you're just building up score. Oh no, you're building up the bonuses to tackle the bosses. Uh, but it actually would be nice if they just reduced the time. Maybe make it 130, so you can be in and out. You don't have to wait, waste like the. That now is where it kind of matters, but uh, because we are already slapping, which again just happened to us, right? We are number one guild in, in Arena for a reason, innit? <laughs> this is just what happens. Uh, like we have a Lily Net on our team. Technically, we're at the disadvantage. We had the worst team, K kind of, and we're slapping them. Very easy done, lads. That's what you love to see. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be here for a long time, so. How's you lads day been? <laughs> Mine's been okay. Uh, I was kind of, honestly, uh, I was working this morning. Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say what I work as, but it's nothing fun. Oh, it, it's kind of fun. It's nothing special. Uh, but I was just chilling. I was actually very tired this morning too before at work. And then I see, um, I see we get some leakage going on with the, uh, the Barrigan and the, the Stark. And that was kind of exciting. That woke me up. Definitely woke me up. And, uh, yeah, two-character ban. I mean, we addressed it, right? I saw, actually, a lot of comments in my last video saying, like, what happened to part three? I, I, maybe they didn't play last year. I, I don't know why people are expecting a new ban to be part three. I've seen some people say burn the witch is part three. Like, no. No. <laughs> part three is literally three multis is essentially what part three is. That's it. We're not getting another banner. And instead, we're getting a mid banner, right? Which is the, um, forgive me for burping. Again, no edits, right? So I can't cut that out. But I did just eat earlier. Ugh. Maybe I'll cut that out. <laughs> all right, we're going to slow it down. We don't want to just... We don't want to make the video longer than as is. Extra chill. He is. All right, we're good. We're good. So your team, if your team knows what you're doing... And now we kill. Did we steal? Nah. Close, though. You can steal after a second. If, if you plan it right. And we had plus 10. Jesus. That was our first win, though, lads. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, part three of the anniversary it isn't a new banner. It's just... Unless they change it this year, um, it, it should be just 10 free multis, maybe increased drop rate on like droplet zone or something, and then more packs to sell us. I kind of hope they add something new, maybe an extra quest or something to do. I'm kind of hoping the third anniversary Okiyora is part of that third part of the anniversary. That would be hype. Uh, that would be significantly hype, actually. And I'd be down for it. But yeah, first one of the day, lads. We're going to be here for like another like... Hopefully not too long, because it's actually really hot right now in the UK. It's not too hot, but when I stream... Or when I record videos, right? I have to um, have to close my door. have to close my window. Actually, right now it is open. But there was actually a lot of noise outside earlier. Uh, someone was like mowing the lawn or something. Uh, but essentially in the UK, uh, when it gets hot, it gets really hot. Uh, I, mean, I know compared to other countries, it doesn't get that hot. But, you know, I, I don't like the heat. I, I very much don't like the heat. I'll tell you that that's right now. Um, I much prefer just it raining or it being cold. 
because uh, it's a lot easier to stay warm, especially in, in my house. In my, because we don't have an, we don't have an AC. That's like that's like a privileged thing in in, in the UK. Uh, but when it's cold outside, I can just close my window, snuggle up in my sheets. Maybe my cat will be next to me, and we're all warm. When it's hot, sure, I could put a fan on. Uh, but then at that point, my, my cat, like, is scared of the fan. And I kind of like my cat being next to me. Like, especially when she sleeps in my bed. Uh, well, she doesn't always do. She makes her around. She sleeps on, like, a mo- Oh, okay, we got a similar team here. My cat makes her way around the house. Uh, she doesn't always sleep in the same place. Uh, besides my sister's bed, because, of course, it's, like a, it's a bigger bed. And it's, like, it's a whole bed for my, for my cat. <laughs> so, so, she loves to sleep there. But on my bed, like, occasionally she does it. And if I have the fan on, then she's going to avoid my room completely. So I don't like having the fan on all day, and that means I start sweating, and I hate sweating. Unless I'm playing COD. <laughs> Unless I'm playing Arena right now, we're sweating, fam. Come on. All right. But yeah, T I guess TLDW. Uh, I just don't like the heat. Uh, I, I don't mind it being like nice and warm on a, on a day out, but when it's like too hot, nah, I I hate it. So I much prefer it being cold. And right now it's not the coldest. It, it's not too bad. Like the UK's weather hasn't been too bad. In terms of like the heat wave, it was very hot like a few weeks ago, uh, but right now it's been it's been quite chill. And we're getting a decent amount of bonuses. We're not even going for the boxes. Uh, I'm just literally killing and we're on plus four. And last game we were on plus ten, right? At that point we're pretty much one shot anyone. And what I'm kind of hoping to potentially see in this uh, in this video is to see some Kennys, right? I want to see how Kenny uh, plays out because one thing about Kenny, right? And that's like the annoying thing about how Arena plays. Is you can't... I could showcase Kenny. Sure. I could showcase him, right? But one of the main things, especially about Nad characters, is how they perform as a boss, right? Like, you know, Rashid's Lily Net right now? She isn't anything too threatening on our team. I'm sure Rashid's putting in his work. Uh, but going against her, she can be quite intimidating. Because, you know, you stack her with full DR. You can get like 90 DR lads or 80 DR. It's kind of insane. And it just makes it hard to kill. And that's why this Kenpachi is going to be scary. Uh, not this season, but next season. And next season does start on the 15th. If you don't know, they're actually changing up the rules. Which is the first time they are doing it. Which is kind of fun to think about. And I think they can definitely make Arena better by doing more restrictive rules. And by that, um, essentially every rule for the last like four, five seasons. Ever since in Arena got introduced. It has been... What do you call it? Strong attack damage times two. So Aizen is now doing double damage on his strong attacks. Artwork you go anyone using their strong attacks are doing double damage. Uh, but Nad characters don't get any buff, right? They just they just have whatever they have. But they're changing it now to melee damage times two. So Aizen isn't going to be hitting as hard as he is now in the next season. Which is kind of funny, maybe, to think about. I'm on plus nine, Jesus. I'm not even getting boxes, remember that, lads. Um, so Aizen might not even be usable next season. I think he will be still usable, but I'm definitely going to switch to, like, Daddy Ichigo or someone like, someone a melee character, essentially. It's melee damage, right? And that applies to Kenny, too. Kenny is a melee character. So he can actually be an absolutely devastating nuke. Let's actually stop killing. Ah, uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> we stole again, though. Ah, uh, but yeah. With Kenny already being as hard as he can to, in terms of hitting... He might be kind of nasty when it comes to that melee damage times Duke. And now he's getting a two times damage buff. Essentially, if a boss is on plus five and he hits you, it's game over. Um, and if, we, if they ever do range, Nad, or just range attack damage times two, that will also be scary because Misaki can already one shot you, right? Especially if you're a mine character. Imagine her with times two damage. She's pretty much one shot on you with one Nad string. And that is scary. Even if you're on plus 10, you might even get one shot. Probably not. But. It's kind of cool. I like that they're changing up. It definitely is going to spice up Arena. But it still has a problem. Uh, that being Arena. And that mainly that main thing is that there's no reason to play it right now. There's no reason to farm high or in the rankings. Like, Rashid is the number one player in, in, in Arena right now. We are the number one guild in Arena right now. Globally, by the way. Uh, no one's even close to us. And uh, we don't get anything for it. I mean, sure, we get the bragging rights. But it's, it's nothing special. The only thing that matters is ranking high in your season league. Which right now are completely dead. I'm number one in my season league. Number two has seven wins. Seven wins. And you're, and you're second place. So, um... I, I did make a video talking about the other day, like, season leagues need to offer orbs. Once you do that, 
That's already a reason to play Arena. That's already a reason to rank high in Arena. And that would be fun. That's 300 extra orbs every single month if you can rank number one. If they were to do 150. So essentially, if you get number one in Arena right now in your Season League, that's 1,500 medals. So divide that by 10 and turn that into orbs. 150 orbs for ranking first. I think that's quite fair. Especially if there's the scammers over at Caleb are trying to charge you 250 orbs for a license. At the very least, they should be giving us more than 250 orbs back, right? Uh, per month, but they don't. You get 25. Uh, so they definitely need to lower the license or scrap it. Um, one other thing that I find scummy, which at first I thought was actually kind of nice on Caleb's part, was the fact that you don't have to spend money to buy the license. Normally a battle pass you have to spend money for. This license is just orbs. Not paid orbs, just free orbs, and you can buy it. And the reason why they did that is because of how restrictive Arena actually is. You need to buy the license to max your characters. And imagine players in Belgium or players that were purchase bans. I uh, couldn't buy the battle pass because you have to pay for it with raw money. Uh, they couldn't play arena. So I can see why Caleb actually made it orbs. Uh, and the reason and, and, the, and the fact that they made it orbs does mean they're overcharging you. Because if they charge that battle pass for $40, no one would buy it. And I'm not sure if you realized it, lads. 250 orbs, and I'm paraphrasing here, I think, or like just taking an estimate. I believe 250 orbs worth of of orbs, right? Is like is like forty dollars, thirty something dollars. So if they charge that license for thirty dollars, no one would buy it. So that's why they did it orbs. They did it so free to play players could also buy it too. Because the fact that they made the license so restrictive in terms or every, every, all the drops that you do get are very restrictive, especially like the higher up ones. I think without buying the pass, you can get someone to level five easy, which for the most part is enough. But with these arena characters getting all these extra skills and stuff, you do want to get the character arena level 10. And it's very hard to do that unless you're buying the pass. And the prices for the arena, like the certificates, the hero one and the champion one, are way too overpriced. I think the pricing in arena shop right now is semi-decent. But, yeah, besides the certificates, 1,500 for one is way too high. And that is absolutely terrible. So, I I'm actually making a post on Reddit every single time. Not Reddit, on the BBS Discord saying, Daily reminds on how to prove improve arena. And it's like, yeah. Give us a free character from Arena in the shop. They have the Ichigo right there now. Uh, they need to change that to a better character. Someone only in Arena it gives us a reason to farm. It gives us a reason to rank high and stuff. Uh, what else is there? Lower all the, the requirements to buy stuff for the pricing. Uh, I think there's a few more stuff too. Give us all to rank in high. Uh, what else? What else? What else? And then, yeah, just get rid of the license. And right now, like, I believe we're stuck on 95%. So this might be the only time I actually edit because we might be stuck here. I thought these didn't exist, but if we're, I don't want to make the video too long. We already have to play. Well, we're probably going to be playing for like an hour or two. And <laughs> if it's stuck on 95, we have to skip this out. So I'm, I'm going to quickly edit this part out. Oh, it's loading, I think. Hey, we're in. Um, Three Japanese players over eyes and Jesus. Um, I think they all DC'd. Let's actually see. Yeah. Oh, no, they're playing. <laughs> okay. Uh, me and Extra have to hook up. Rashid, unfortunately, DST, which I think is why we actually got in. And maybe Rashid was the one that was glitched. But here we go. I uh, did have to wait too long. Maybe one of them's playing? Yeah, their, their points have gone up way too slow. So we won this easy. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, what was I saying, actually? Did I talk about the new banner? The new banner got leaked? That was actually kind of fun to see. Uh, I was thinking, oh, I completely missed that. <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of excited for the new banner. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not gonna be summoning because of course I'm not like it's a premium uh, But I think it's kind of cool that we're getting base from Aspartas more of them Especially ones that never received them in the past like the Barragon and the Stark uh, I saw a lot of people complain about free character banners or it not being a free character banner Let's be honest if as long as end of month banners are free character banners. I'm fine Personally to me uh, But Yeah, two character banners suck <laughs> Especially premiums, like the worst part is, it, it, it's just it just question it, it, it makes you question, right? What what are Killer doing? What are Killer doing? You're let's, let's say hypothetically this banner, right? It's a mid one premium, so they're probably going to be mid. They're nothing. They're going to be nothing special. They're going to be good. Don't get me wrong, or usable and decent, but they're not going to be anything great or worth summoning for, right? So people aren't already going to summon for that alone. But then they're premium, so people aren't summoning for that alone. Then they're also coming right after the anniversary banner. So more reason not to summon. It's like, maybe Caleb know that and they aren't going to bother making characters good. 
but like maybe they sh maybe they should do the opposite. Maybe you should make mid month amazing. Maybe like you know last year at Kisuke, right? Kisuke was amazing. He still is. Uh, how are we on plus seven again? We are getting very lucky on the buffs. Uh, so like it's just like I'm, I'm assuming obviously that this mid month banner is gonna be like just a bit mediocre, which it should be, right? Uh, I don't, even if they were OP, I'm not summoning. It's like you'd, you'd think they'd maybe put a bit more effort into the to the characters to make it more appealing. To get people to summon right after an anniversary, but I don't know. Uh, but I'm excited either way. I, I think they're gonna probably look cool. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun to see them as five stars in that in those those forms. And I'm kind of hoping for some transform mechanics, but at the same time, I don't think they are gonna have it because uh, obviously this whole like fierce battle banner. Even though this isn't a fierce battle banner, the uh, new Stark and Baragon, it, it's still like going with what they've been doing for the last like since last year essentially since they introduced the or since the start of last year. Since they introduced the the phase battle banners, where they're just going back and just covering character, not every character they miss, but some popular characters, just giving them new forms and maybe giving the ones they haven't got, like the base form of spiders, for example. We got the OKO, OK we got the Grunjao. Uh, none of them transform, so I don't expect Baragon and, and Stark to transform. Maybe that could be a future character, right? No rush. We we still need the base form of spiders because we have them in their resurrection form. So yeah, why not? Why not give us a base from now, and then in the future, maybe a year from now, give us the transforming ones. I think we still need more transforming characters in the game. Because right now, it's just, uh, there's a lot of cool mechanics in the game that they don't use. And they just save it for, like, very specific or very rare... Sorry, again, I just A, right? So I'm burping a lot. Uh, they save a lot of mechanics for very rare characters once every, like, six or so months. Um, in the case of Aizen's SA2, or Byakuya's SA2 in that case... We didn't see that return for an... an Lily Net? What? Oh, he, was, he brought Lily Net, bro. <laughs> I thought he brought... Hold on. Man bought the normal Lily Net. Okay. Uh, as I was saying... Was it that lady that I thought was... Hallo it is Halloween. I can see her in the back. That's weird. <laughs> okay. That confused me, though. I was like, no. Nah, def you definitely brought a uh, Halloween Lily Net. All right, as I was saying... um. Like, the Bankai mechanic hasn't returned yet. It's been, like, eight months. Yeah, eight months since the Bankai mechanic. Uh, in the situation with the, you know, I, Byaku's SA2, that took a year to return. And now it's returned again once more. In the form of that new uh, Spirits of Evolution, we. But it's not, you know, it's not the same. But it returned with Aizen, essentially. Uh, which is kind of fair. That SA2 is kind of broken. If it got dissed on every character, it would get a bit repetitive. So I kind of like that they kept that, like, a bit rare. But the Bankai mechanic, uh, switch mechanic, double team mechanic, transformation buttons, or sorry, specials. Uh, they make characters better. They don't make characters broken. Like, Rookie is broken. Uh, the Bankai button makes it even more broken, but the Bankai button isn't what just makes her broken. She's a lot more going for her, right? So, um, I do think some of those mechanics should return a lot more often. Because, you know, it may maybe put that on a mid month character. Imagine, like, Stark had a transformation button or mechanic. That would be kind of cool. Uh, it wouldn't make it broken, because, again, he's going to be a mid month character. I need to just emphasize that. He's going to be a mid month premium. He's not going to be anything broken unless he comes with Flurry, Guard Break, and, he and he's a ranged character. Then he'll be worth summoning for. Um, but they should really come with more of the mechanics. They have a lot of cool stuff in the game. Uh, I kind of want to see something come from the My Hero game. If anyone played the My Hero game, the Gacha game, the strongest hero, very trash game. I spent money on it. I regret it. Uh, I knew it was going to be bad too, but I, I did it. I'm stupid. I have addiction, Max. <laughs> I don't. Um, I, I spend reasonably. I didn't wait out on the anniversary because that's the anniversary. It's the most hyped time in terms of, like, views, right? Views are definitely up during the anniversary month. So, you know, I spend a bit more money. Uh, I'm not going to be cashing out, like, 1k every month on on mid bump banners and random banners here and there. Uh, I'm pretty much taking it chill. I bought the... I'll buy the packs every now and then. Oh, I got free Eisens. I'll buy the packs every now and then. And we'll see how it goes from there. And uh, the next banner I'm going to like be summoning on is going to be the Yamamoto banner. His individual does come out on the 25th. And like three days after that, we have the end of month announcement. Which I'm kind of curious on what it's going to be. Because it's not going to be a premium. Because we haven't had one of those in years. Like a, a premium end of month banner. Could it be another Spirits of and Wivy banner? Potentially. Wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Because last year, it was it was Comfy World, right? 
And then we got back-to-back -back manga characters. But we know that manga characters aren't getting new ones as of yet until, like, maybe they change it. And I don't think they're going to release manga characters now. Uh, they would have done it for the anniversary, right? But who knows? Maybe they do. Uh, I, I'd, I'd say not to expect a manga character, a new one, until the end of the year, if anything. And speaking of that, uh, again, we're just going on tangents here. I did make a video, like, what, nine months ago at this point? On why we won't have another original character, like... Quincy Ichigo for New Year's. For anniversary, we'll get an original character. But with... And, I, and my reasoning for that, and I was correct by the way, <laughs> not to toot my own horn, um, is because manga characters exist. The only reason why we got Quincy Ichigo that one year is because they couldn't run a manga banner because the, we were on that one year break, right? Between the third anniversary to the fourth anniversary, there was no manga characters. Round, uh, round four came out on the third anniversary, and then round... Did I say round four? Yeah, round four of Thousand Zebra came out on the third anniversary. And then round five came out on the fourth anniversary for the second part. So we had a full year of no manga characters. And obviously during that time, K-Lab were acquiring the rights to make more manga characters. And they made ten more banners. And they included like, you know, like actual manga characters like Ichibe, Squad Zero, Sternbritters and stuff like that. At least ones that have voice actors available. Maybe that's another reason why they haven't done it. They haven't got all the voice actors available. Maybe. Uh, but because we weren't getting a manga banner during that time, they had to do something hype. They couldn't just give us a premium banner as an end of month banner, right? They had to come up with something equally as hype as a... Let me just my sob here. They had to come up with something equally as hype as a manga character banner. And the only thing that can really compete with that is another limited time banner, which I think... Yeah, Calm for Yord wasn't running at that point. So they had to do an original character, essentially, right? And that's the only time they've done it. And they might do it again this year, because again, unless manga character return at the end of the year, we're probably going to get an original character. Uh, fun enough, I actually remember this, too, because I made that video. And then we get the announcement that end of year is uh, Rukia and Ichigo. And someone commented as if I was wrong, saying, what you saying now, bro? Something like that. And I'm like... Like, bro... <laughs> <laughs> they're not original characters, man. Like, technically they're original. Like, the uh, the Ichigo and the Orihime. Sorry, I keep, I keep messing up the names. Like, Ichigo and the Rukia. Technically they're original, but not, at the same time they're not. Because they're from the final chapter. That's what it's based off. But, like, the moves they do... Uh, obviously are, I guess, original. Because we didn't see Rukia use her Bankai, right? So I guess that's original in a sense. But it's not the same as an, a, a new original design of a character. So... I would say this end of year banner, we're definitely going to get either a manga banner or an original character. We could possibly get Spirits Are Forever With You, but I don't know. I'd be a bit strange. We're not going to get... If they're doing if they're doing free character banners still, they can't rush out Spirits Are Forever With You, right? You need, you need to understand that. If they're, do, if they're doing two character banners for end of month, then sure, they, they can do a, a few Spirits Are Forever With You banners because they have, you know, more time to space it out. It can long out the banner just a bit for Thousand Year Blood Brother comeback. Uh, but if it's three characters, we, we can't be getting one every month. Because then we run out of banners on like f in a, uh, by the end of the year, <laughs> essentially, right? And then what would, what, would, what would we have for 2022? I don't know. And Rashid switching to Masaki, okay. Uh, so yeah, just a thought, just a thought. Um, have you not... Have you, <laughs> Okay, we'll just ramble on. Have you lads seen the TikTok meme? I'm gonna actually pull it up. Let me let me quickly record, but you can't I'll put it on the bottom of the screen, right? So I'm currently on TikTok right now. Let me turn it off. My for you page, let me just scroll past. Hopefully, okay, I got bare things here. I wanna see how long it takes for us to get. I wanna see how long it takes for us to get to the original there is literally like the first scroll. Was changed to a this guy not okay. Do you know what's not okay, Benny Boy? <laughs> That you turned your stitches off. Bro. You can't escape us. <laughs> what is this meme? This is like one of the funniest memes. Let me keep scrolling. Let me see if I can find another one. Like, it's actually all over my For You page. I'm sure it's over a lot of people's For You page. Okay, you know what? I'm not scrolling anymore. Because I'm getting too risque stuff. I can't put that on screen. But yeah, the, the Benny the Benny or Benjamin meme is, is actually really funny on TikTok. Uh, it's definitely been something that I've been laughing at for the last 40 hours or 24 hours. It's gotten insane, like, literally to the point where you get multiple of them. And they got a full Eisen team. <laughs> Unfortunately, they got the, the bot. So it looks like we're pretty much going to win this game. But yeah, those memes are getting out of hand. 
Speaking of memes, Jojo memes. Loving him. Past six shot next. Very happy to see that. Obviously, as you do know, maybe you don't. I am a massive Jojo fan. Uh, when I don't do, f I, I do face cam every now and then, right? As you know, don't always do it because the sub is just long and tedious. Uh, now I have a green screen, so you don't see the posters. But I have like a bunch of, jo not a bunch, two specifically. Um, I have a few Jojo posters in the background that I normally show off. Uh, it, it's just like Jojo is just such a good anime. If you haven't watched it, obviously no spoilers, but do yourself a favor and watch it. I believe they're on. No, not all on Netflix now. I know they're all on Crunchyroll. Uh, but Netflix did acquire the rights, and I think they have, depending on the country you're in, would depend on what part they have. But I believe they are trying to get out all parts for part 6, because part 6 is going to Netflix, which has people, like, worrying, because um, it's not really the best thing. There is a thing called Netflix Joe, if you don't know. If you're a fan of, like, Shaman King or Eden Zero, I think is one of them. Netflix are weird when it comes to airing anime. Essentially, they, it will air weekly in Japan on Netflix. But then the the Western side of Netflix will hold it. They won't release the episodes. Like, I know they did it with Haikyuu and Beastars. I haven't yet watched Beastars Season 2 because I've been waiting for them to upload it, which they have done. I just need to get around to watching it now. They wait until the season's fully over. Or like, oh, let's nuke here. I don't want to die. Uh, they wait for the, like, the season to be over, like halfway there, depending how long the season can be. And then they upload it. So people are a bit nervous now that you know, maybe we can't watch Jojo Weekly on Netflix. Because Netflix are going to hold it until like maybe like 12 episodes in. Then they upload it. There's been rumors too that they're going to upload the entire thing on Netflix. So no more Jojo Fridays, which is a scary thought. Uh, it's a good and bad thing for me personally. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Because I... If you've seen part 6 of Jojo... Again, no spoilers. If you made it to this father video. Part 6 of Jojo, it, it, it's a debatable part on whether it's, it's like amazing or bad. Uh, I think a lot of people did trash it. Like they do with Part 5, to be fair. Part 5 was trashed too until the anime came out. I absolutely adore Part 6. Especially the ending, like the final act. Oh my god. It's a, it's a, it's a really good ending. Like, I, I want to gas it up. It's, like, it's a really good ending. I love it. And I can't wait to see that anime. So if, hypothetically, if they did, which they won't, um, as the rumors are saying, released all the episodes in one day, it means I can watch the final like act. On the first day, which would be very nice. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I don't think it's good for the series. You know, like, you, you uh, these animes live, uh, these fandoms too, like, live off the discussion, right? Like, imagine we got the Thousand New Blood War arc animated, and they released all the episodes in one go. That would be terrible. Uh, for a manga reader's perspective, it would be nice. Just to get to your favorite moments and see them animated. But... You, 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 don't, you don't want that. You want you want the discussions. You want the anime only. The people that haven't watched the anime. You want them to like go into it. Have discussions. Talk about the episodes. You know. Talk about theories and stuff. And experience it. You know. We don't. We don't. Oh. We should left rip. Uh, we don't get animes. You know. I mean. This, this didn't happen to Bleach. So I don't really know. Ex explaining it like that. But. In Bleach's case. You don't get. We don't get. <laughs> I'd say we don't get a lot of animes. We do. But it's been a very long time, right? And having everything released in one go, it's just like, you don't get to talk about, like, the individual moments. Something that is less hype is going to be completely skipped over, like in the JoJo fight, for example. If that was to release um, all in one go, there would be a lot of fights that no one would talk about because everyone would be talking about the ending or they'd be talking about, like, critical moments and, like, Moments that, like, keep or stay with you to a certain extent. Uh, but some of the minor fights that would have their own discussion, you know, people would meme and stuff like that if it was weekly. You don't get those if everything drops in one go. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping Netflix doesn't do that. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. It should be weekly. I believe it does premiere in the first week. Uh, it, it, actually, they, they didn't get a date, but Jojo F Part 6 Episode 1, at the very least, premieres on Netflix in December. And then it comes out in Jan, and then it airs weekly in January, which I think is kind of cool. Hopefully, um, they do subtitle it straight away because I want to watch that. Obviously, JoJo's a big anime. I, I love JoJo. Uh, JoJo's up there with me uh, with Bleach. JoJo and Bleach are my two favorite animes for the most part, definitely. And I've seen a lot of anime. You know, I, I, I like One Piece. I like uh, Hunter Hunter, Full Metal Alchemist. You know, all these other shonen's Naruto. But JoJo and Bleach are just my two go tos. I absolutely love these two franchises, man. And uh, Caleb are making a JoJo game, or making a JoJo game. It's only in China, and we know nothing about it. And I'm pretty sure it's based off Part 5, but I'm excited for it. Um, I'm a big fan of JoJo, and like all the JoJo gacha games now have shut down. Kind of sad, actually. The last one, Peter Pot, only lasted like a, a year or two. And like, 
they shut it down right before part six got announced or after part six got announced, which is kind of sad. But yeah, I love part six. Uh, I love Jojo. I love Bleach. And uh, Jojo part eight is actually ending in like less than a week, actually. So that's kind of uh, scary to think about. And with part six coming out in 2022... Oh, it's going to be exciting. Hope We do know Bleach is coming back in 2022. There's no official date just yet, but it's very likely to come back in 2022, considering that we know nothing about it. And James has been, like, teasing that they are working on it, which is a good sign, by the way, that we're going to get some good quality. Sorry about that. I need to take a sip of this drink. I'm, my throat's hurting, because we are half an hour in at this point. Um, If JoJo and Bleach are in the same week next year, Oh my god. My life is over when those two anime finish. Like, oh my god. Like, my two favorite anime airing in the same week. That is just absolutely insane. And, like, you know, part six is one of my favorite parts, too. Oh no. Speaking of JoJo, <laughs> Jotaro, deal. <laughs> oh no. I'm going against two bots. This is what happens. This is why you should play up with, with three people. Uh, it would be nice if there was a fourth button. Because then we could end it right now. That's kind of funny, though, that we got... Uh, Rash uh, Rashid has a macro that you can just spam all these buttons. So, yeah, Jojo and uh, Bleach airing in the same week. That's just absolute, absolutely blissful. And then Chainsaw Man's coming out. I haven't read that, but I've been hearing some big things. I read Chapter 1. It looked cool. And uh, there's a few things coming out, too. I think uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Attack on Titan Season 2 Part 2. No, Season 4 Part 2. Final Season Part 2. Um... I guess I'm excited for that. Uh, the Attack on Titan hype train has definitely died down for me personally. Uh, the ending was alright. I didn't mind it. It wasn't bad to me personally. The extra pages, but if you guys don't know, uh, Attack on Titan ended. Obviously a couple months back. And the, the, the community wasn't too happy about it. Uh, people said it was like some, it was like kind of split for the most part. People said it was a good end. Sorry, I'm burping again. People said the ending was good. People said the ending was bad. It was kind of split. I thought it was okay. I, I got emotional at the end. And then, uh, then he released, it got officially released in the volume, right? And, and he added, like, uh, the creator added, like, a few extra pages. Uh, one of them was, like, a scene, like, halfway through the final chapter. And then the last, like, two or three pages were, like, a completely different ending, which is kind of sad, what he did with it, to be honest. Again, I, I don't want to give any expectation. Like, it's a good ending. But those extra pages, I kind of hope the anime don't adapt. Because <laughs> it's kind of a yikes. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I mean, depending on like, who you are, whether you're an anime viewer or like a manga viewer, for me personally, in Bleach's case, I would love to see them change some things when it comes to the ending or like the actual, you know, maybe flesh out some backstories. There was a part in the final arc where they like they talk about the original Gote 13. I would love to see that like actually animated. Uh, as a small little filler arc. Technically, it wouldn't be filler. It'd be like anime canon. I would absolutely love that. Uh, but I'm not sure why they're going to get that. So, what was, what was I saying? I just completely mind fired right now. <laughs> oh, no. Rip their four points, though. Can we make it zero? So, I was talking about the... Uh, yeah, so I'd love to get anime original stuff. And um, as a manga reader, that's what you'd like to see, right? In, in Part 5 of JoJo, for example, they did some anime original scenes. I actually... Uh, Loved it when they did that. It, it fleshes out the characters just a tad bit more. And it gives something... It, it gives manga readers something to look forward to. But realistically, as a manga reader, at least for me... When it, when I read a manga and I see it animated, I want to see some good animation, right? So with Attack on Time, the reason why I'm not too excited about it is because the animation from MAPPA isn't that... Good. It's good, don't get me wrong. But like, compare it to Wit, it's just not on the same level. So... I'm not nearly as excited for Season 2 of Attack on Titan as I used to be. Uh, if Wit was doing it, I'd be gassed just to see my favorite scenes animated. I still am, but the work Wit did just enhanced the entire like scene. It was actually mad. And that's what I'm kind of hoping to get from Bleach, right? I don't want to see, like... Sorry about that. I don't want to see, like, a one-to-one -one, like re rendition of the manga. I want to see... Some scenes adapted on. I want to see some things expanded on. I want to see some really, really good animation. And for me right now, my expectation is low. It's not that period bad. Because they did the Akudama Dry, which was a good anime. I haven't watched it, but the animation was actually really good. It was a seasonal anime, so they put more time into it. But like, Black Clover, 
don't like it. Uh, I don't like the animation, to say the least, right? I don't mind Black Clover, personally. But the animation, I just... Uh, it's terrible. It's not bad, but... Oh, we gotta wait a bit. Let's wait for Rishu to get back in. Uh, there's just a few things, like, I, I don't want mediocre anime. Animation. At least when it comes to Bleach. So I would love to see Bleach get some really good treatment, really good animation, and that's what I want to see as a manga view. I want to see my favorite fights from the final work animated and be absolutely insane. And the better the animation, the more hype it brings, right? Look at Demon Slayer, for example. Demon Slayer is pretty good. Uh, episode 19 or something, that pretty much blew Twitter up because of how good it was animated, and that's what I'd want to see from Bleach. I'd want to see Bleach get the, the love it deserves. Because, you know, us Bleach fans, we've been getting some uh, some hate the last couple of years with your animes cancelled. <laughs> Oh, we might lose it, lads. Let's see how this goes. I might have to swear. But, you know, yeah, Bleach gets some sh like, gets some unnecessary criticism. I know, like, Super Eye Patches Wolf uh, didn't really help us. Because people just re re repeat the same stupid arguments, fam. Like, let me give you an example. So, like, you know, you know the, 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 the old saying, right? That Bleach, is, Bleach isn't relatable. Or Bleach isn't good at, as good as Naruto... Or one piece because Ichigo doesn't have a goal. Like stupid argument. It, it, it's so annoying, right? But then, like, you have Black Clover, for example. This man Asta wants to be the Wizard King, and then you had people taking the mick out of that, saying like, "Oh, it's just a Naruto clone. It's bad. Why is like it, it's it's, it's always like, the same people. Like, you have one people that can just complain if a character doesn't have a goal, and then you have another group of people complaining if they do have a goal, and they're copying Naruto if they do. Like, <laughs> it's stupid stuff like that. So. I don't know. It, it should go like not having a goal was never a plan. I didn't really care about that. I just wanted to see Bleach. I wanted to follow Ichigo's story. I didn't want to see him be a, a, a soul king. <laughs> Stuff like that. I didn't, I didn't care about that. It wasn't the point. Right? Ooh. Yikes. Okay, hold on. We might lose here. Ooh. Okay, let, let me get sweat mode on because we. <laughs> again, we want the video to end, but we wanted it to keep going, right? Let me revive. Alright, sweat mode on. Let's kill these guys. That's kind of like just cruising. Oh, lucky I got that heal. This, yeah, this, we need to, we need to focus up. Hold on. This, this is a bit tough. Getting the heals, which is nice. We're going to heal back up to four. This is close. Hope I can kill him. Get lucky in the RNG. Look at that. This is why Aizen's toxic. It took me four strong attacks to kill him. Yeah, we're in a really bad position right now because I took a lot of damage. I died. And also, now I have no boost. Yikes! Is it over? <laughs> Is it finally over? <laughs> Let me nuke it. Masaki is tanky. Oh, allow it, man. No way, bro. Oh, no. Rasu Dextral. <laughs> Clutch up, lads. We got this. I don't know how I was spamming. I didn't take these all serious. Alright. We might be able to get a lucky clutch here. Yeah, I it should go just one shot and use just nasty man. I had no buffs. Come on, we need a kill. Aizen is terrible, man. It's toxic, bro. That's that they got the they definitely got the better team though. Their team is so sweaty. Oh no! <laughs> no! Ah! <laughs> it's over. Video's done. What? We streamed for forty minutes. I recorded for forty minutes. That's not too bad. I was just rambling on. I didn't take that run too serious there at the end, and that cost us the game. But hey, we planned to go for an hour or two. But ah, GG, GG to these lads. You saved me like two hours time, like sweating in this room.